All right. Where are we at? What are we doing? Download the alien research technology. Well, that's going to take a little while. We got the we got that. Alien research is only going to take two minutes. And let's get up here and get that cobalt going. Because, yeah, if I can start just yoinking a bunch of the resources in these... In these spots, that'll make my life easier. Uh, there's going to be this one right here. I think? Or no? Maybe we've got the coverage. I guess I should grab this while we're here. I don't know. Okay. Looks like it's probably on the other side. There we go. Yeah, I might as well grab as many of these as I possibly can get. Just for the sake of it. Hello, Carbonium. Should probably go back to the base and build some more Carbonium storage, though. I think there might I think there might be a research that lets me get more. Uh let me double check. Because yeah, I don't even know what that is. Where was where was it anyway? Unless mineral mineral storage just is not something that I have. Solid material storage. There we go. Alright, it's gonna take a while to get that one. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it. So I think I'm gonna need headquarters level four. Okay, question. Map? No. This. Here we go. Okay, so. We need the quantum stabilizer. Maybe. It doesn't look like we've got any other zones that I can warp to, at the very least. What are these? Aggressive fauna, journals, event logs. Neat. Well, big unfortunate. We want to go back to the base. I, I don't know what's happening with my power situation. We're going to... Blast mine the forest for a hot second here. No trees. No mushroom. Oh, that that is tough mushroom. Okay, I guess I can can actually just chop. There we go. Okay, go back here. All right. I forgot about this. But I probably have access to the renewable Ash, energy tech. I'm detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. Okay. I'm just gonna make the power brick. Power brick has been built. It gives me tons of resources. Okay. Yeah, this, this is something is I should probably dense. do one way or another. It's affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. Okay, let's clear both of those. Yeah, we might as well do the requisite dowsing in the immediate area. Just grab as many things as we possibly can. There we go. Do I still have... Yeah, I still have machine gun. It's fine. Found an immediate. All right, I forgot. These guys explode. So I probably shouldn't do that. Ow. Okay, we've got all the necessary technologies downloaded. This building requires a supply of clean water to operate. It would be best to place it close to a pool of mud or sludge that we can filter. Okay, so I don't actually have any mud in the base. The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. There we go. But I do have some, I mean, literally right here. So I could snag, I could snag that if I wanted to. I could make a satellite base. I was hoping to find some more like defensible locations just because AI cores are expensive and take some serious doing. But on the flip side, Clearing the map out of just regular mobs, so it's just all mine, not the worst idea in the world. There we go. I really like the explosives in this game. There's just something satisfying about it. I and mean, I think there's something...
kind of genuinely satisfying about this whole game. One of X-Morph Defense's, like, main claims, claims to fame truly was just like, Hey, you want to, like, knock down buildings and use that tactically? Yeah, go for it. I always thought that was such a really cool idea. Okay, it's these guys. There we go. So, I think grand scheme of things, I'm gonna go... I'm just gonna take this southern a annex. I don't really have much of a base built here. And so I'm just gonna kind of take whatever. Uh, let's see. Probably gonna just start with really basic lines of walls. Now, unfortunately, I think these trees... Nope, that tree is in fact indestructible. Cool beans. Alright, sell those. Get back here. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna kind of daisy chain between these natural barriers. They're not necessarily the best at potentially blocking enemy progress, but I'll take what I can get. All right, there we go. Okay, that's good. I know I got a big thing of, uh, let's see. Got a big thing of muck. So I wanted to take a look at alien research. Question is, laboratory. Cool. Oh. I should have taken a steam vent for this. Well, you know what? It's okay. Do I want to just take a steam vent instead? Alien research laboratory construction nah, that's probably fine. Okay. Fantastic. I can't wait for it to be built. This building is going to open up a whole new range of possibilities for us. If I had a base like that on Orion, I wouldn't have lost my arm back then. How did that happen? I got careless while searching for Anorex crystals. I found a fascinating growth anomaly that was transforming all of its surroundings. I've never seen anything like that, so I had to take a sample. I was shielded inside a recon suit, but when I grabbed the crystal with my hand, it just went through it. My entire arm was infected. Why didn't you use a bioscanner to take the sample? They only work in conjunction with the lab like this. I didn't have a base on Orion or a mech suit to build one. I am sorry to hear that, Ashley. And I am glad that we got paired together. I will not allow something like that to happen to you. Okay, let's not get too emotional about that. If you look at it from a different perspective, I got an enhanced biomechanical arm replacement, and I still got the sample. Right. I should not have these right next to the wall. There we go. Extend it out. And I am good. Perfect. Okay, some of these might have some weird bits to them. Okay, let's extend everything upwards. And we've got, we got power. I actually know what's on the other side of this. I don't think I really put much of anything. Yeah, we got a lot of empty space, which is good. I like ex empty space to some degree. Bad if this area ever gets hammered by an enemy attack, though. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm just gonna kind of extend. Yeah, I should have. I should have taken this into account. It's fine. I will rebuild. I have the technology, in fact. Okay, can I put this here? No. I mean, I can put that there. Perfect. 
Okay, this is hooked up. This is hooked up. So this has... It takes 50 energy and 100 mud to produce 50 water. Can I take a look at this? Laboratory. Warning! An aggressive horde is amassing near our base. Prepare to defend our base. And they're coming for this dragon. Alien okay, that's construction finished. not great, we actually, for me. with clean water to keep it operational. You can produce clean water by placing a pump in any type of liquid and delivering it to a water filtering plant for processing. Connect the output from the water filtering plant to the alien research laboratory using pipes. Finally, the alien research lab is operational. We can start gathering research samples and scanning the local flora and fauna. We can use the bioscanner to begin collecting samples without destroying the environment. It's the safest and most efficient way to advance our research. This is so exciting. We can finally start working on the thing that we came here to do. Ashley, don't forget that our primary objective is to establish a two-way portal back to Earth to enable human colonization of Galatea 37. That's true, but we also have to study this planet to ensure that it is safe for colonization and to minimize the damage done to the local ecosystem by future colonists. Minimizing damage to the local ecosystem is listed at the end of the official list of priorities of this mission. I'm the only human on this planet. I can set my own list of priorities. The planetary geomapping procedure is in progress. Calculating coordinates for possible rift jump locations. The process will soon be completed. Okay. Orbital scanner geomapping procedure finished. We have gathered a lot of very useful information about the planet Ooh. and found traces of rare elements in multiple locations around the globe. One of Galatea's continents appears to be a barren desert that has been scorched by intense radiation and very intense solar activity. These harsh conditions are most probably caused by the high condensation of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. Our scans have located a safe rift jump location for an initial scouting mission. Gaining access to uranium would allow us to construct nuclear power plants and some heavy weaponry. This should make surviving on Galatea much easier. The second interesting area is densely covered by acidic clouds of unknown origin. Spectral analysis detected traces of palladium scattered throughout this geographical zone. I have marked a safe rift jump location for initial reconnaissance on the orbital scanner interface. Okay, so this hurts. Titanium has been detected in a large zone of intense volcanic activity. The orbital scanner has been providing some strange readings in this area, with temperatures ranging from 800 to 100 Kelvin. On top of that, it is entirely impossible to get any sensible magnetic field readings from this area. We were able to find a safe rift jump location within the volcanic zone. However, you should expect extreme environmental conditions. All of these locations contain extreme environmental hazards and unknown species of creatures. We should upgrade our equipment as much as we can before venturing out into these new biomes. Okay, let's Danger. not lose any power here. Creatures are approaching our base. There we go. Plenty of DNA. Where? What? Or did we already do that? I have no idea. I think we're good. Alright. I guess first and foremost, research let's complete. check this. So we got that. This is going. Alien research. Beautiful. So now I can start doing some things. Research station self-powered standalone laboratory. It is used to conduct experiments on objects of interest. Cannot be sampled any other way. And rift breaker to build cultivators and harvesting stations. Drone operated buildings are used to grow and cultivate saplings of species of local fauna. Hmm. Oh, useful for biomass gathering. And we can also get a higher level laboratory. Um, this is not going to take too long, I hope. I'm just going to get the next one. Unfortunately, I think a lot of these we just are going to have to find. Familiarity level 2 of the mush bit. I might have to just wander around for a while. Oh, right. GGG. 
This is something that I can do. I forget about that. Well. Well, I'm here. New species discovered. Kermon. Fair enough. They dead? They're quite dead. I can't tell. There we go. Alright, and we've got a geothermal vent. I really should utilize some of those. Okay, Ionium. But no, we want to just shred some of these guys. And we should probably also consider, Activate yeah, building an outpost. This may affect our wind turbines. We should probably actually use that outpost to go play. This is, I dropped the sword. I didn't notice there were invisible guys hitting me, but there they are. Rude. Looks like that area is fine. Let's go get it back. Our wind turbines are down. That would be a problem if I didn't have a fair bit of power storage. Okay, got my sword back. I have no idea where the invisible dudes are. What else do we have? I don't know. I'm just gonna wander around, I guess. Woo. Oh. This area, on the other hand, has, like, nothing. I forgot about that little bit. Okay. Well, it ain't perfect. But this will hopefully give this a little bit more of a fighting chance if it got, got attacked. And not having any wind is a little tough. The wind is coming back. Wind power is returning to normal. There we go. Okay. Well, I guess I don't need, need to worry about it as much. The other thing we want to do, that's gas energy. Where's renewable energy, though? There's no way to search, is there? I'm certainly not seeing it. Huh. Oh, here they are. I'm gonna add those to the to all of this. Uh, do we want to move it up? Yeah. Probably better than that. Okay. So familiarity, it we're getting there. So here's the qu oh. Yeah, I really can just open a rift to a number of these, if I want to. So, sludge low, carbonium high, iron high, geothermal, and we don't know about the rest of these. I almost wonder if these are kind of more temporary deals. Like, you warp to them, they're procedurally generated. You warp to them, grab as many resources as you possibly can, and then you bail. Well, if that's the case, that's still the case. That's, I mean, maybe not a bad idea. We're kind of just killing time anyway. I think my base is about as well defended as I'm going to be able to get it. I... At least almost. There's a little bit more. I could use some more fences. Just in case. I'd be, I'd be pretty upset if I came back and my base was gone. Okay. I'm just going to snag a number of these. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I'm just going to 
I'm gonna just slap a couple more down. I think I was pretty good at my coverage on this side. Yeah. So that's good. Alright. Well, now that we've got that set up, yeah, the next order of business is that I, I could and should and would do. And why are you still low on power? I thought the wind here was supposed to be... Fine. I'm turn that off for a hot second. But I think this thing isn't active? Hmm. Okay. When in doubt. Wind in doubt. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know what's up with this. I'm just going to build a wind annex. There we go. Now it's got enough power. Because yeah, these just weren't enough for whatever reason. Oh, you know what? It could actually be the rare element mines were too much for it. Now I'm thinking about it. Oh. That's better. It should be okay if it gets hit. I don't know. Hopefully, I mean, it's got 40k power storage. That should be enough to keep it going for a tremendous amount of time. So I'm going to warp back here. And then, I think we go to another planet. Because otherwise, I'm just kind of bored. Radioactive desert? Sure. What I very much love to see is almost like seamlessly being able to warp between these. I think that could be really exciting. Unlikely to happen, but it would be cool. Oh, you can assign specific hotkeys per building. I mostly like what we've got. At the very least, getting me to the menus that I want to get to. Oh. Seems like there's a lot of rock boys, too. Eh, it's fine. Alright, let's take a look. So first and foremost, do I have to build a headquarters here? Rift jump successful. Environmental scanning in progress. Outpost. The natural background radiation in this area is very high. It would kill most living organisms from Earth. My standard radiation shielding can withstand these levels of exposure without any damage. However, if the background radiation is so high in this area, then we can expect much more intense sources of gamma particles. These could pose a serious threat. The protective atmosphere is also very thin in this area. UV radiation from the sun could pose a real threat. No wonder this area looks like a desert. We'll have to improve environmental shielding on our structures before setting up a larger outpost in this area. Ashley, we should gather more data about this area. We can later use the readings from my sensors to develop improved radiation and UV shielding for both my armor and our structures. Okay. Let's try to scout as much area as possible to feed your sensors with enough data. Outpost construction in progress. This building is a local version of our headquarters. It will allow me to reconstruct whenever I am destroyed. And it has a permanent rift station that we can rift jump to at any time. It will also allow us to automatically transfer all of the resources that are mined in this location back to our HQ, even if we're not present in this location. We can construct a network of such outposts around the planet to build up our economy. It's the only way to acquire enough resources to construct the Rift Station and all of its components. Be mindful of where we place these buildings, though. Our headquarters have a capacity limit of how many outposts we can support at once. So whenever there is no use for an outpost, we should deconstruct it and recycle the resources that were used to build it. These green crystals are emitting a lot of gamma radiation. Try not to stand too close to them, or they will damage my armor. Okay. So here's a question. First and foremost... Can I pave this area? Looks like it can pave an amount of it. But not the crystals. Well, that's kind of a tragedy. I can't pave the crystals, I can't pave the mud. 
Okay, so that's right out. Please tell me I can at least build wall. Good. Ashley, you've placed this structure on quicksand. It is going to slowly sink into the sand. We should research extra stable floor tiles so we can place them over quicksand to prevent sinking. Ashley, I'm detecting a new species of creatures that have very unusual movement characteristics. That sounds very interesting. The creatures in this biome are unlike anything that we've seen before. Let's go to its suggested location and try to learn more about it. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to blow a lot of these up. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to specifically build repair things if I want to even wall off this base. I mean, who knows? Maybe no one's actually going to care about attacking them this area. If so, I will be a happy camper. But I'm also not going to bet on it. It's a cute looking thing. Okay. Yeah, hopefully the repair... Repair drones are going to be enough. Nope. Okay. So in that case, I'm just going to get rid of those. Not much I can do about this, unfortunately. They're very on fire. And unfortunately, I don't think my repair drones are going to be good enough. Um, hmm. Well. How do I research? Okay, so we've got the better carbonium factories. What I want is stable ground, though. Basic wall. This might be an alien research thing. Now I'm looking at it, thinking about it. Research station, cultivator, building that. I don't know, I kind of hate this place. Oh. <sighs> I guess, worse comes to worse. What I do. is I seek out places that I I know are kind of defensible. Okay. Unfortunately, gonna have to deal with a number of radioactive crystals also just kind of in my general vicinity. It's gonna make this whole business so much harder. Well, it's okay. Hopefully this area just doesn't get attacked often. Hmm. How the heck am I... Alright, I give up. I'm just gonna put some guns here. And if something decides it wants a piece of this base, then... I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to stop them normally. Oops. Not you, though. You were in the wrong spot. Uh, let's see. AI. There we go. This is probably going to cost me a pretty penny, and I think I'm going to need to scale up my wind power, like, tremendously to feed it. Yep. Oh, boy. That was expensive. Okay. Get this. I do really appreciate the fact that we have these alternate bases, though. That we can kind of warp out to and, and do things with. And if we're really lucky, there's not going to be much going on here. So I can just kind of not worry about defending it too much. I know that's not going to be the case. Oh. It would certainly help if I actually connected half of my power setup to, you know, the grid. Okay, how are we looking? Still pretty bad. Okay, in that case, let's just slap those suckers down. The sun's activity is at an extreme today. It might be dangerous. 
All right. The sun is burning our armor and structures. Hopefully, this will not last long. Oh, well, that's fun. And luckily, I've got a couple repair things handy. I was not expecting the sun to do damage to everything. I was assuming the sun would do damage to, you know, some of these things. Solar radiation is getting back to normal. The sunburn well. is over. I'm just gonna... It'd be really nice if there was like a repair all slowly button. Okay. Did I not get that? Now, now we've got it. Okay. I know we've got that beacon there, but I don't know how long that's going to take. I don't want to contend with it. Doesn't look like we took too much damage, though. Okay. Well, I was going to go back here. I was going to make a gate. We're just going to go exploring. Because unfortunately, I don't think there's too much for me to do here. Uh, Resource-wise, it looks pretty barren and pretty garbage. And so it would almost be better for me to explore, see what I can see, grab what I can grab, and then maybe leave. Uh, let's see. Do I hook this up? I guess I will. To repair everything while we're here. Because this area is honestly pretty defensible up until about this point. So I could actually... I, I could put a number of these down. Is this passable? It is. It is passable. But messy. And we've got some iron. Get out of here. I'm just gonna get rid of those. There we go. No more radiation. Be gone. Be gone, foul thing. Please stop. I don't necessarily mind hearing the clickety, clickety, clickety. But at the same time, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's just noise. I could do without noise in my life. And here's a question. Can I just override those? Yeah, looks like I can. Except for maybe the big ones, but that's probably okay. Let's see, do we just build more? Sure. This is my favorite. It'd be really nice if we could almost put down like a build grid. I give up. Okay, yeah, let's just yoink that while we're here. And keep working down. Because whatever is up with this area... Warning. I'm detecting intense seismic activity. A strong earthquake is coming. I hopefully that's not a problem. I'm seeing all sorts of critters here. The earthquake's epicenter is near our position. It will deal serious damage to all our buildings in that area. Maybe we're okay. Is wind oh gosh, wind energy is just like absolutely nothing. Well, I guess I should probably go deal with whatever the critters are up here. There they go. I'd love to get some geothermal, though I guess we're not going to find any water around here either. E. Okay. The earthquake has stopped. 
Let's assess the damage. Well, luckily I wasn't in that area. So I didn't have much to deal with. I think it's some carbonium if I want to get some carbonium. But honestly, the longer that I'm on this planet, the more I kind of want to... Or planet. The longer I'm in this specific area, the more I want to leave it. It just does not have enough going on for it. For me really to want to spend a whole lot of time here. And boy, the constant threat of radiation just kind of being in my way. Oh, those are danger boys. They're danger boys, but they're also dead. I'll take it. Oh, that reminds me. Have I been doing research this entire time? I hope I have been. I wanted to look into... Energy sensors, titanium machinery, maintenance tool. Yeah, so we want to add this. We might actually want to move that to the top. It'll only take a minute Our and a half. Our sensors are indicating large quantities of tanzanite within the cacti specimen. We can use tanzanite as a catalyst for production of high-energy weaponry and equipment. It would be great if we could gather large quantities of this mineral to create something useful. A broader arsenal of weaponry could undoubtedly help us survive against all these new hostile species. Let's start researching Tanzanite handling. Fascinating. Look at this creature. It has a very dense and thick carapace, yet it moves very swiftly over sand. We should study this species further. I can sense a few of these creatures in this area, but this won't be enough to gather samples for research. Let's pass this creature's characteristics to the orbital scanner and look for a location where we can find more of them. Affirmative, Ashley. We should have some results available shortly. Okay, so we've actually gotten a bunch. So now we can research Tanzanite. Still nothing on the... Ah, nothing on any of these. That's unfortunate. Boy, this is going to take a long time. Research is slow. This base orbital is... Scanning pants. Completed. We found a location that looks like a breeding ground for the Stregoro species. We can go there to study it further. Okay. Well, while we're at it, I'm just going to scale this up a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to slap a gate. I don't know. Like here. Kind of ugly, kind of hard. We're looking for sun progress. I don't think this, or sun progress, sun research. I want to finish this area off. Let's see if there's anything else here. Because I think we would just want to leave. Some of these bases I might use for resources, but. I'm tracking a swarm of fast moving objects across the sky. It's a meteor shower. Prepare for bombardment. Uh, let's see. As, it as long as it lands where I am at, I can work with it. Invasive maneuvers, Mr. Riggs. There we go. Ow. Oh, that's weird. Ooh. We also found a rock boy. We found a lot. Oh, I don't have an armory here. I'm not tracking any more meteors. The danger is over. Okay. I didn't think of this, but we probably don't have an armory of any variety. At least around here. Okay, so what the heck is this thing? They didn't like that. Oh my god. It really didn't like that. That hurt. 
Okay. Try this again. There's some DNA. I don't know if that's gonna go away. It might, I should test it. There we go. Well, we exploded it, and we got, woo! Gene stuff, but also a bunch of mods. Hit points gained per hit, ooh. Okay, so there are reasons to explore this planet. However, the map is pretty small, so I might wanna clear it out while we're here. But we wanna grab repair tools. Because that's only going to take a minute and a half and it'll give me a little bit more. What's maintenance tools? Eh, it's okay. What does this do? Yeah, I want to scale those up. And probably look into armory related things too. Because that uh, renewable energy level 2 would, would be nice. I will grant that. Question, can I build an armory here? No. So I've hit my limit in that regard. Okay, I should probably grab this spear. I think this spear might work better for what I'm trying to do. There we go. That's interesting. They all just mobbed whatever that is. Oh, they're eating the corpses, probably. I, I bet, I bet that's exactly what they're up to. Okay, let's blast them all. Yeah, we definitely need another armory if I want to, if I want to be fighting all of these. Yeah, so they're, they're just going for munches. Little crab cakes. There we go. Goodbye, and I think we're good. Okay, so I've got a lot left on this planet, and it's going to take a while to get anything done. I might start, um, I might start skipping ahead a little bit with some of these, just because I'm, I'm wandering aimlessly, grabbing loot and equipment, which is nice, but I can't use any of it yet. Ah, <sighs> uh, let's see. Well, it seems like it wants me to have some some of this. So I guess we might as well harvest a little little bit of ironium. Iron ironium? Ironium, I guess. Dangerous sun activity. Ashley, this there is no protective atmosphere over this desert. We're going research completed. Hey, but we got the repair tools. And that is important. Because now I can get repair tools. I think I can get two of them. Because now I can go to this sucker. And grab one, and grab two. Perfect. Alright, so now I repair 2 HP per second just kind of wandering around on my own. That's really all I need. The sun is burning us and our structures. It's dangerous, but this activity should not last very long. Holy shit. The, that, uh, this amount of damage is actually cause for concern. I'm going to head back to the base. Uh. Yeah, I'm just going to repair all of this. Solar radiation is getting back to normal. The okay. Is over. So it didn't actually destroy anything. I'm just going to let it do its thing, I guess. Whew. So, an inconvenience, but not a huge one. Alright, one way or another, I will see you guys on the next episode of Riftbreaker. We're just going to clear things out, probably finish this desert off, see if there's anything interesting else for me to find, and then probably bail and come back way later. Because right now this is, um... Not my favorite place to be, to be honest. 